Hey folks, today is September the 3rd. It's currently 626 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Promax Gold EA. What is this? Week number five update review. If you recall, last week we did 2.15%. The week before that we did 3.81%. And the week before that we did 3.15%. So definitely doing extremely well with uh, Victor settings with the Promax Gold EA. And I'm pretty excited to check out Last week's video, I've had over 20 people email me asking me for a Victor settings that I'm currently using with this uh, current test that we're doing. So hopefully a lot of you guys have chosen to jump into the comments section and let everyone know how you're doing. All right. Let's go ahead now and take a look and see how Pro Max is done this week. At present, we're up 17.50% overall with 3.64%. Our drawdown has stayed ridiculously low. So I'm definitely liking that, guys. 3.64% is our overall drawdown at this point, And we're currently up 17.54%. So definitely happy about that. And we can see here, almost hit 3%, but we ended up closing the week out at 2.91%. Either way, with these settings, uh, Promax has been doing just phenomenal with these settings. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down here. And we can see that August, we closed out with 12.2% in profit. And we are three days into uh, September, and we're already up 1.27%. One thing that's not typical, as you guys can see here, is that we have trades open going into the weekend. And we'll take a look at that after we jump into the uh, VPS here. And I decided to leave these open. I know a lot of you guys, just I guess in the in the interest of full transparency, some of you guys wanted to see the uh, open trades. And I'm not sure if the other review I'm doing has, actually hold on, let me check on something real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I have a uh, terrible memory and I recall that for the other tests that I'm doing, I wanted to make sure that the open trades was viewable by you guys and uh, I just had to, Make sure real quick that it was and that I didn't forget to do it. But yeah, everything is uh, going as it's supposed to be going here. And let's go ahead now and check out the news for the week. This is non-farm payroll week. And as you can see here, Monday, nothing of interest there. Tuesday, nothing really of interest there. On Wednesday, we had ADP non-farm employment change and also ISM manufacturing PMI. On Thursday, we had... Unemployment claims, which could have uh, produced a spike with gold. All right, let's go here Friday. We had non-farm payroll and also ISM services PMI. Non-farm payroll is one of the uh, biggest news releases of the month, so that definitely caused a spike in the market. We'll uh, take a look at that here momentarily. And also, like I said, do have last week's video up, and we got 13 comments, so we'll save that for the end. I haven't uh, taken a look at it yet. So let's go ahead now and jump in here. And we can see non-farm payroll right there. I don't even have to check the time. I know this is non-farm payroll looking at this spike here. All right. And at that time, as you can see, we were in sell trades most likely. And I think we closed out one trade today. So we had one trade open. That was a buy trade. And we had three sell trades open. And those are still open going into the weekend which is not typical for this expert advisor, but obviously it does happen. All right, let's go ahead now and take a look at everything here. First day of the week was the 30th. So we got started round right there. All right, so a small 42 cent win, a $29.64 win, a $22 loss, $8 win, a $62 win. Very nice. $15 win, $15 win, $15 win, $4.68 loss, $34.74 win, and $15 win. All right, so we're going to have to wait till next week to see how the uh, EA with the current settings manages um, our current drawdown that's gone into the weekend. One thing I'm really waiting to see with this EA is how it does in different market conditions. For example, with Adjumat that I've been testing off and on for about three years now, I've seen that in just about any market condition you can 
uh, think of. So I have confidence just throwing money at that. Not throwing money, but you know what I mean. But So yeah, I'm kind of trying to wait. Let me see here. There was a day, I believe, uh, a couple weeks ago. I think it was the 9th. Where there was a huge spike. And we just happened to be in trades that were going in the proper direction to take advantage of that spike. But if we didn't, and if that spike went against us, let's see if it was the ninth or the eighth. All right, so it was around here somewhere where the gold market just dropped and then dropped again and then dropped again. We were in some trades around here. I'm not seeing the little uh, triangles, upside down triangles that are usually here, but we were in some trades around here. And actually, we can take a look at that right now. So let's go back to around the 9th. And you'll see that we were in three trades. We were in three sell trades. And we were able to take advantage of that situation. As you guys can see, those uh, three trades ended up being winners. But for example, let me get this down here again. I want to see how the EA with these settings manages uh, drawdown in a situation like this where the market continues to push up. All right, because eventually we will be on the wrong side of one of these heavy spikes. So going into next week, this is definitely going to be a, a good test for us to see how the EA manages it. And obviously you guys can watch how this is uh, playing out on the website. Obviously, I have the MyFX book link there so you guys can check that out in real time here and see how it does. All right, we're about seven minutes into the video. Let's go ahead and jump in. And I also wanted to mention one other thing, same thing I mentioned in the previous video that I put out today. Definitely, if you don't have a VPS set up yet, you want to look into it. Today or this week, I had uh, two unfortunate situations. My power went out this week. That was one. And number two was my internet went out this week. And it was out for two days. I actually had to uh, call the company and they were able to schedule me the very next day. But it took about two, four days for me to get my uh, internet service back up. And that could have been a bad situation if I was still managing things on my regular PC. So definitely if you haven't yet and you want to do this with a live account or seriously, definitely look into a VPS. You can see the one that I'm uh, recommending right there on the website. And it should be a, a link to it as well beneath this video. All right, let's jump in now and see exactly what happened here for you guys. All right. All right, this is, he posted this six days ago. Hi there, it was a strange week for me this week. It seemed really quiet with not a lot of trades and managed to do 3.24%, which is awesome, especially with all the news. I think I'll do one or two more weeks with these settings and then go live. Very nice. All right. All right, thanks for the settings you sent. Much appreciated. I started on a small $2,000 live account this week and achieved 1.99%. Completely happy with that return with regards to drawdown. Yes, it's completely normal as long as you use low risk settings to give the EA room to recover. People should be fine. Agreed. All right, do you adjust the GMT settings at all when using Victor settings or did you just input everything as is? I think my GMT is like a three or something like that. So I did use my GMT offset. For the news, let me see here. What is it called? Protection. There's something here. It is Promax EA Smart News is running. So for that, I did uh, use my GMT offset so that the EA knew uh, what time the news events were coming out. All right, I've started running Victor settings, and I had the same problem as you. The EA stopped trading. No trades Monday or Tuesday, even though everything looked fine. There was nothing showing red, only the close button. So I messaged Victor to ask him if I was doing anything wrong, which I wasn't. So I deleted the EA and reloaded it onto a fresh chart and straight away started to get uh, trades again. Very strange. But if it happens to anyone, a quick, a quick reload of the EA and should fix any issues. We'll post a full week's results next week. Very nice, guys. Agreed. Anything in green is great. And this is uh, Victor right here, the individual that provides the uh, settings for all the people that are using them. 
All right, since you started a few days late in the month, you should make an easy 12% altogether by the end of next week. Anyone using these settings should average between 10 to 16% monthly. Naturally, live accounts get even better results, so I'm definitely looking forward to following along once that happens. Very nice. All right, very much. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. Did you use the latest set pre sale or the old default ones? Email me for the latest settings that I'm using. Where do you get the new set, guys? Email me. Hopefully, you've already emailed me. Hi, share. Hi, you share setup for Promax. I think I asked this individual to email me. Yep. All right. Unfortunately, the author doesn't answer any e <laughs> Guys, I've sent out to over 20 people this week. So I'm not sure why yours is not coming to me. Uh, let me see. I'll make sure I put my email address because it's possible that you came here, clicked on contact us, and it didn't go through. All right. Hi, boss. I sent email in last week. I don't have returned. Okay. Trader Axia. Do me a favor. If you have not received anything from me as far as the settings, in the comment area, leave your email address. So these two individuals, if you happen to watch this video and I haven't gotten back to you yet, leave your email address in the next video. And I'll make sure that I uh, email that directly to you since for some reason I'm not getting your uh, emails. It's similar to comments here. There are people that leave comments. I'm not removing anybody's comments, but for some reason YouTube just uh, is not letting them get through. So that's the situation with that. Let me see here. I think there was one last thing here that I wanted to show you guys. And that was wanted to go into Telegram. I want to take a quick peek at the vendors updates. Give me one second. All right. Video starting to run long. We're almost at 12 minutes here. I usually try to keep these videos at about eight minutes, eight or nine minutes. But anyway, let's check to see if there were any updates all right, so as you guys can see here, Red Fox MG Pro. And we'll just scroll through and see if there's anything dealing with Pro Max here. September 1st, dear clients, for those of you who have been waiting. All right, so that's coming back. We would like to announce currently prop from EA suitable to run the FTML challenge. Okay. Swing challenge. No. Nah. Let's keep on scrolling up here. I'm going to try to keep a handle on these updates. Dear clients, the market is normal and not as volatile as last week. You may turn on your EAs and continue trading. Again, if you're not in their Telegram group, you might want to uh, jump in on that because they do give you uh, guidance as to when you should potentially maybe take your EAs offline for a few days or for a week and when you should bring them back on. So that's definitely a good thing. Personally, I just leave mine running consistently full time here. All right. And I think that's it. And this is August 30th. Upcoming plans for September. Red Fox update with fixed drawdown limit. Crypto trading EA. Okay. So we'll definitely have to look at testing that. Uh, prop firm EA restock. New affiliate program. Definitely good to hear. Signal duplicator EA, which trades based on a human trader's signals. That could be interesting as well. All right. White label solution for creating EAs for clients with their own names for resale. Okay. All right, Swing VIP Pro Max and MG Pro have been doing so well so far, so we will not be updating them. All right, we're over 13 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. As always, if you guys have any questions whatsoever on Pro Max, send them my way, and I'll try to get those uh, answered for you. If you want to test it out for yourself, make sure you guys use the link below to help support the channel. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you on the next update. Take care, folks.